So the FTX collapsed just went from bad to worse. All right. Welcome to the Coin Junior channel. And today we're going to go through the collapse of FTX and the complete timeline until now, the latest update. Let's get straight to it. I'm going to keep it short. This time I'm really going to keep it short. Okay. So this is just a timeline for those who are not caught up with the news. FTX collapsed. Okay. Due to the balance sheet issues, a lot of the stuff, shady shit issues just went bad bad worse 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 all right from powerhouse to plummeting here's the timeline of ftx's collapse let's get straight to it on november 2nd it begins based on the leaked balance sheet for alameda research ftx ceo sam bankman free trading firm coindesk reported that much of its reserve were based on ftt this is the article right here okay alameda had 14.6 billion of assets as of june 30 but a lot of it is the FTT token issued by FTX. All right. So the balance sheet is full of FTX, specifically the FTT token. Alameda rests on a foundation largely made up of a coin that a sister company invented, not an independent asset like fiat currency or another crypto. As of June 30, the company's asset amounted to 14.6 billion and the biggest asset, 3.66 billion of unlocked FTT and a 12.16 billion pile of FTT collateral and also for the liabilities 292 million of locked FTT all right so this is really bad and then it triggered this right here Binance says it's planned to pull out of FTT so in Twitter this is what CZ tweeted on the 6th of November as a part of Binance's exit from FTX equity last year it released 2.1 billion USD, equivalent to cash in BUSD and FTT. And due to the renovations by Coindesk, Binance have decided to liquidate any remaining FTT on our books. And it sent FTX and Alameda Research to a death spiral. All right. So on November 8th, a lot of the issues have happened. It was released that FTX has liquidity issues. Okay. So Binance offered to purchase FTX to bail them out okay FTX asked for our help and it facing it is facing a significant liquidity crunch FTT plummeted by another 75 percent but then on the 9th Binance backs out Binance quickly reversed course and backed away from the deal after a corporate due diligence and it revealed that the, the financial situation in FTX was really 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 shit Okay, and on, and on November 9th, the regulators in the United States start to catch on. The SEC and the Community Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, started investigating the company's relationship with Alameda Research and FTX US, as well as allegations that the company mishandled customer funds. And just the next day, the bad luck spread, spreads to the rest of the crypto industry. The contagion is starting. Crypto.com stopped withdrawals of USDC and USDT on the Solana blockchain out of an abundance of caution. Solan, one of the larger Solana lending protocols, reported it was having problems liquidating part of a large loan. Okay, disable all borrowing according to its website. So Solana is one of the biggest assets that was hold that was held by FTX and Alameda Research. So a lot of the people started to pull out of Solana in fears that they may dump Solana to get liquidity. And on November 10th, Alameda Research falls. Bankman Free announced that the Alameda Research will wind down trading on Thursday as a Hail Mary effort to save FTX. The company was also weighing bankruptcy. On the same day, FTX scrambles for cash. FTX sought around 9.4 billion in rescue funds from investors trying to find liquidity liquidity as many users pulled out of their holdings he also sought a cash infusion from current ftx investors including sequoia capital he did manage to strike a deal with justin sun okay the ceo of tron on the same day as well ftx us warns of potential trading pause despite despite bankman fried saying in the twitter thread that the ftx us was not financially impacted suddenly it is reported to be fake withdrawals are will are and will remain open until it was finally halted 
the next day, FTX files for bankruptcy. Everything just went mayhem at this point. Okay, FTX was going down. No one was no one was willing to build them. All right, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Roughly 130 affiliated companies started bankruptcy proceedings to review and monetize assets for the benefit of all global stakeholders. Okay, and on November 12th, it went from mayhem to complete clown fiesta. At least one billion in funds from FTX customer uh, customers' accounts have gone missing. Bankman Free moved 10 billion of customer funds from FTX to Alameda Research. All right. And the blockchain analytics firm Elliptic said 473 million in assets were moved out of FTX wallet in suspicious circumstances early this morning. It was a mysterious hack, but then it was revealed and the revelation? Shocking. The next day, Bahamian authorities get involved, where FTX is based said that they are working with the Bahamas Security Commission on an on a investigation of the company to determine if any criminal misconduct occurred. So remember this hack right here. Well, things just got a little bit more spicy. Supposed 477 million FTX hack was actually a Bahamian government asset seizure. All right. The Security Commission of the Bahamas has now acknowledged that it was behind the removal of 477 million in crypto assets from the bankrupt exchange on November 12th. In the exercise of its powers as regulator acting under the authority of an order made by the Supreme Court of the Bahamas, took the action of directing the transfer of all the digital assets of FTX to a, di to a digital wallet controlled by the Commission for safekeeping all right bros sure that's a fancy word to say mm, what do you find a word um bribery the company announced that they the unauthorized access to certain assets has occurred and that they were coordinating with law enforcement on the matter on thursday ftx led by john ray the third which was the new ceo of ftx have taken control of ftx said in court filings that they had credible evidence that the officials in the Bahamas had directed FTX founder SBF to access FTX's system for the purpose of obtaining digital assets of the debtors. So this is insane. So what is being said right here is that the authorities in Bahamas actually told Sam Bankman fried yo, give us the digital assets of debtors for safekeeping all right basically bribery to make sure that you're safe so this video right here i'm not going to talk about all the political stuff sbf has done i'm not going to talk about how he fucked his girlfriend and they had like a weird foursome relationship okay i'm not going to talk about a lot of the shady shit i'm just going to talk about what is impacting the crypto market right here but this one right here pissed me pissed me to the core ftx employees use company funds to buy homes in the bahamas fuck you sam buy me one what the fuck is this he has just revealed that the company funds were used by employees and advisors to buy houses in the bahamas in your own name okay so ray all right this is the um a veteran of restructurings it is Im almost impossible to claim these homes back because they are not in the name of the company. It is under the name of the FTX employees. So this is way beyond fucked up. What's even more fucked up? FTX did not keep appropriate books and records or security controls with respect to its digital assets. He further indicated that to be reimbursed for pro professional expenses, employee only had to submit the request by chat and a supervisor would immediately approve with a personalized emoji. This is fucked to the core, guys. So this dude actually used your funds to buy homes for their own employee. And yeah, there's no proper paperwork, nothing. All you have to do is text your supervisor and it'd be like, yo, what? You want a home? I got you, bro. I got you. Here you go, condo. You don't like it? 
penthouse suite bro top floor go ahead bro bring some girls there drink have fun guys we're ftx they're getting screwed while we're enjoying shit bro so this is what's going on behind the scenes and trust me more will be uncovered later and sorry for the negative news but we're still we still got to get to it so the reason why i'm doing this now is because i'm waiting for everything to come out so i can break it down for you guys and it was found that the auditors for ftx fucked up also i'm gonna do that when more details come out so with that being said guys i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow peace